Thank you very much. To graduates everywhere, word. To GBS Titans, word. Malcolm Gladwell's book, Outliers, is about successful people who don't fit the traditional mold of achievement. He writes of people to whom I relate because, like them, my achievements came not in spite of, but because of an unconventional approach. I've always been different. Imagine that. I've resisted the pressure to conform, and I'm unwilling to accept the status quo. Achievement is not just about hustle and ambition. It takes a tremendous amount of work. And believe me, I've worked very hard. Through self-diagnosis, I too am an outlier. I was home a few weeks ago pondering these notions when the phone rang. The caller ID showed Glenbrook South High School, so I picked up. It was the principal, Mr. Brian Wegley. First thing I asked him was, which one of my kids is in trouble? <laughs> he told me that's not why he called. Could it possibly have been the Jimi Hendrix biography that I borrowed from the library 29 years ago? <laughs> I told him he could have it back. He chuckled, no, that wasn't it either. Turns out that Mr. Wegley called to inform me that I was named the Glenbrook South Distinguished Alumnus for 2010. With that honor came the invitation to give this commencement speech. I hadn't thought about my high school years in a long time. It's not my way to look in the rearview mirror. I focus on the road ahead. But I gratefully accepted this opportunity to share my experience during 29 trips around the sun since graduating Glenbrook South. Today, I have the opportunity to honor the people and teachers that influenced me. My mother and father, who taught me about ethics, integrity, and unconditional love. It has fostered my becoming a compassionate physician and an affectionate father. Mr. Ralph Ganser, freshman geometry teacher, he taught me logic and reason thought. I've been a problem solver ever since. Then there was Douglas Cornelli, the drama teacher who played college basketball. Though I was never a budding thespian, he exposed me to swagger and attitude. And look out, it was the invitation that I needed to showcase my unique personality. <laughs> Coach Edward Young instilled the power of commitment and teamwork. These experiences form the substrate of my life's work, my love of the game, both on the court and off in the arena of Chicago's inner city. As I address the sea of young graduates, I urge you, don't be dulled by the forces of convention. To my children, Sophie, Anthony, Lucas, and Katarina, cherish those qualities that make you unique and think for yourselves regardless of pressures to conform because therein lies the genius. Most Glenbrook South graduates have been nurtured and raised in a virtual embarrassment of resources. Conventional wisdom says that the blessings of privilege and fortune must be paid back to society by doing good works. True to my outlier's attitude, I have adjusted that message. It's not about simply paying back. It's about paying forward. The concept of karma has grown vague in its overuse and trendiness. But karmic law can be verified by quantum physics. Once two particles have interacted, they remain bound. Even when far apart, and this connection is independent of distance, in the same way, every positive action can impact the beneficiary well beyond the completion of the act. With this in mind, I encourage you all to do good works, to interact with those around you, mindful of the fact that you will forever be bound to those you influence. Personal rewards will come, but that should not be your motivation. Rather, 
You must strive to act in a manner that benefits society at large, and in return, ask only that those you help will turn around and help someone else. Sue. Now it is my privilege to tell you about Basile Sui, a young gentleman from Haiti who, after being buried under tons of rubble after the devastating earthquakes, suffered a broken spine and paralysis. With the help of divine intervention supported by the laws of karma, I was able to get him to the United States for medical care. This is his graduation too. From acute inpatient care to the prospect of returning home to Haiti, able to once again walk of his own accord. At this point, I ask of your generosity. When you are at home later today, please link onto the donation section of www.bonesquad.com. B-O-N-E-S-Q-U-A-D.com. We are securing resources to equip Sue with a handicap access apartment in need on the order of twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars. Believe me, he will pay it forward as well, helping to rebuild his country and fueled by the simple joy of being alive. Money, praise, recognition, fame, none of these truly matter. They don't bring lasting happiness or a sense of meaningful accomplishment. I will ask that you consider Basile Sue and understand that what lifts the spirit is the knowledge that because of you, someone else's life is better, and that you have made a difference in the world. I challenge you to find the outlier that is within each and every one of us. To GBS Titans, word. To graduates everywhere, word. Peace out. Thank you all very much. And Dr. Ivankovic, thank you for the example you set for our students and for sharing your courageous work with us today. Congratulations again as the 2010 Distinguished Alumnus of Glenbrook South High School. That is a tough act to follow. Ha, ha, ha.